roughly what we're doing 20 kilometers today. Seems pretty calm, so I might actually do more than that. We'll just see how it goes. It might, the wind might pick up, see how I feel. Another solo ride. So, yeah, let's do this. See you soon. there so this in the background is club santa and i've just gone past the beach and it's all it's all my mate looks really nice actually it reminded me very much of dubai when i just rode from there so so just left the santa about five minutes ago and the headwind i'm doing 30 kilometers per hour it's so not fast at all but that's georgia because this road is really nice really smooth flat tarmac but i just uh can't seem to pick up that much speed just change gears now so pushing what 34 kilometers per hour I'm still going steady enough that I can be on the tri bars and feel pretty safe. So look at those cliffs. We have the white cliffs of Dover. They have the green, brown, Cliff Lanzarote. So, 10 minutes from Santa Cruz, I am falling into a headwind, and the ride continues. Supermarket Gistro Cafe. So yeah, I had a choice. Could have gone to, to the cafe, but I would have probably indulged in chips and maybe a bit of meat, pie or whatever they had an offer. Um, so I stayed away from the cafe. I just thought, just get something from the supermarket. I've got, I've just done 50, just checked, and I've done 55 kilometers. And uh, it's like I'm saying, hey, oh, hello to me then. Yeah, just done 55 kilometers. So this is a ride of 120 kilometers. So nearly halfway there. So I'm just leaving the top end now, La Santa. Look at that white berth. And that was a that was a higher car, tourist. But the no over here, the no to give. A white berth. I mean, how would you like it? Someone going past you at 34 miles an hour, leaving you a couple of centimeters. Over here, they know how to ride and they know how to drive cars. Beautiful scenery. Look at that green. Not a lot of green 
like you see in Lanzarote. A lot of molten rock, a lot of black rock, but not a lot of green. So it's really nice to see our company behind me. Say hello. So I'm just reaching the top of the climb, Costa Seguiz. That was the cafe stop me and my friend Dave went to last time around. That was a long, steep climb. Now I'm turning left. I'm now going back up north again, going this way. So another steady climb. It's now around half past one. And I've still got a good two hours hour if, if I don't have any stops. So uh, I'm just going to crack on now. So I'm getting back to the hotel, get a nice cold shower, and just relax for the rest of the day. This climb I've been on, I've been on now for about 10 minutes. You can see. This is my Wahoo element, really good sat nav. You can zoom in, it's very easy to read, shows what speed you're going, 13 to 14 kilometers per hour. This is just a steady climb, it's grueling and long. But look at those views. Still climbing, it's not over yet, I'm still on the climb. Now this is lovely to see. So I've made it to the top and now I've just got the ascent. I'm going to enjoy this one. Look at that for a view. There's people up here taking pictures. I think I might take one myself. Afternoon, you okay? Ah. So if you can see, this is the descent here goes all the way around. You can see the green bus and the two bus there. Goes all the way down. And then you lose it. You can see the corner right there. Right there, the corner. And I think that looks like it's a road that right down there. So this should be a really nice descent. I'll put, obviously have to put a GoPro away for it. But, um, yeah, I'm going to soak in these views. See you over there. I'm going to love this one. Some boys on the way down. Took another stop because just as a set off, look at that. So yeah, it's going to spin around there. I've got a hole onto my, my, my uh, bars actually. So I'm going to spin down there. And then you can see the road in the distance. So yeah, this is going to be all good. Alright buddy. How's it going? Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice one. I just talked to that guy, Irish fella. Really nice. Got a bit of timber on him. He's doing Ironman here in May. Good luck to him because he was just saying he needs to lose the weight. And I was just saying, you know something? I wish sometimes I could go on that journey because I've always been pretty slender, but I put on this little ET belly. When I started to put on weight, I've got a fly buzzing around my ears. My little baby's over there, my Cervelo. Just rested on the rock. But look at these views. Some people taking photographs. Down there, see the cars just going down. 
So there's all these switchbacks. I've just gone down a switchback up here. You can see, you can see the road. And obviously I couldn't have the camera. I can see a van coming down now. So yeah, this is a, this is a cyclist dream, this place it really is. So let's get back on the Cervelo and get cracking. Cyprus paradise, this place is absolutely magical. The greenery here. When you get out here, you see the green. So it, like I said, it's a lot of molten rock on the other side of Lanzarote. And this side, look at how green it is. And the mountains, absolutely beautiful. These climbs never end. It's up, down, up, down, up, down. And look, still climbing. But look at these views. Look at that. 